uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the quick outs chart. And it's pretty ingenious. I really haven't come across any game that actually uses this technique to um, basically identify the outs. So it's pretty cool. But the whole rule book is on, uh, it's on the Fall Classic Baseball website for free. And you can go through it. You can look at it. And um, let me scroll down to the quick outs chart. Just the rule book has, uh, you know, the batter card. It explains that. Explains the pitcher card. Um, defense. The the influence of defense. Uh, stolen bases. Runner advancement. Difference between uh, run at risk and um, assist. Ballpark card, lefty righty matchups, some fun stuff that you could do. Let me see, 54 chart is basically uh, unusual plays. Two parts of the 54 chart. Then you have the exotic error chart, uh, more than a one base error uh, or a two base error. You get multiple errors in it on a play. You get somebody being thrown out. You get a run down. You get a bunch of things happening there defensive chart this is when you roll 51 52 or 53 you will check for range and error uh, here uh, no this is the easy runner advanced chart super duper easy I haven't used that yet though I haven't gotten there yet I'm still learning though and uh, let me see and that is what is that that is the take it easy runner advancement chart pretty funny the first one is quick and the second one is take it easy uh, okay, here's the quick outs chart. This is the one I wanted to look at today. And let's see if I can open this a little bit better. There we go. All right. So um, this is based on a D20, as you can see up here to the left. It has the player who makes the out. And then it has the outcome with a runner on first, a runner on second, a runner on third, first and second, first and third, second and third, and bases full. Now, one, uh, this is the white die, right? And that's when you see this in brackets. So here, if, for example, it's going to be uh, ground out to the pitcher. So if you roll a 1 on a d20 when you throw your 2d6 for the result and you get a 1, it's going to be a, an advance. The ball's hit to the right or to the left of the pitcher. He's got to get off the mound. He's got to grab it. And that is going to allow the runner to go from first to second. Anything else, a 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, it's going to be uh, 1 times 2 means he gets a, an out at second base. Okay. Um, I would like to see 1 at 2, the little a, the little at sign, rather than x, because that really stands for 1 times 2, and I don't see where that makes sense so I'd rather see make this so if I could put this into a PDF form and edit it I would make that at instead of X so when you see that X just visualize that that means uh, one out at second base field is choice basically it means a field is choice at second base all right with the runner at second he holds uh, a weak arm pitcher allows an advance so basically, if the pitcher does not have a good uh, arm, um, he's not going to be able to throw it to second base. And that could mean he has an unstable arm. It's just not a, 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 an arm to basically throw to the bases, right? And so on. Let's go to the next out. Uh, if you roll a two, it's going to be a fly to center field. Uh, I'm not going to go over all these specifics because that would take that would make it a long, long video. And I want to avoid a long video. I may do a video just on the specifics, right? That would be a little bit different. Here, I just want to quickly do an overview. Now, three is interesting because three is a uh, ground ball to either third base or first base. If he's a righty, he hits it to third. If he's a lefty, he hits it to first. This is where you get the splits and the pull hitters, right, in there as well. So this is good. And then, of course, a one is an automatic advance on the white die. So you, let's say you roll a 61, right? That would be an automatic advance. It would be a ground, and he's a lefty. Go, it's a ground ball to first, automatic advance. But if you roll a two, three, four, five, or six, it's going to be a fielder's choice at second base. So the first baseman picks up the ball, uh, fires it to second. They get the force, and there is no throw to first base. There's not a time to throw to first base. Um, 
Now, if the first baseman is a strong arm, see that? If the first, first baseman is a strong arm, he's going to get a double play. And the same thing here, but on the third base side, because this is a right-handed hitter. To me, this is pretty ingenious, and it's really intuitive. It's one of the big bangs for your buck with this game. Okay, I haven't seen this sort of thing. If you understand this, you basically can play the game chartless pretty much, 99%. Uh, I do have fast action cards, which I cheat a little, and I've gone over that on tutorials for the fast action cards. Second base is straight out, grounded a second. Now, if the second baseman is a double play, or if it's a one, it's an advance. Otherwise, it's a double play. If the second baseman has a weak arm, all he gets is a fielder's choice. A five is like a three. Fives and three are similar. A lefty hits the first. A, um, a righty hits the third. A six is always the shortstop. Again, one is in advance, otherwise it's double play. A weak arm shortstop like Mario Guerrero from 1980 will not turn the double play. He turns it in other situations, not in this situation. There's some automatic double plays on the cards. A seven, eight, and nine. These are flies to left, center, and right. Um, an 11, a 10 is a line out to the outfield. You don't see that in most other games. An 11 is a special ground out to where if slow runners are running, they can get a fielder's choice at second. If there's a slow runner running to first, they can get a double play. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Um, a pop-up. This is to different infield positions. 13 and 14 are either grounded to shortstop or grounded to uh, sh uh, uh, first base, depending, is it a righty batter or a lefty batter? 14 is always a grounded to second. 15 is a grounded to first or a grounded to short, depending on righty lefty. 16 is a grounded to short all the time. 17 is a flat to left, 18 is a flat to center, and 19 is a flat to right. And 20 is where you can get, you. it's a line out to one of these positions, and then of course you roll for the double play okay and for some seasons uh this has to be um a two and a three or a 12 and a 13. so on a on a d20 right on a d20 so on my, some seasons uh, like 1980 for example this is doubled i would double it all the time i feel it doesn't happen enough um and that's it this is the fast uh not fast that this is the um quick outs chart for fall classic baseball and uh, check out my other fall classic baseball tutorials as well i may go through what all these mean in another video i don't want to make this one super long take care